Naira Bets is the best play in online horse racing and betting. Bet from anywhere, anytime using your computer or mobile device. Earn valuable reward points on bets. Play in our exclusive promotions and earn cash rebates. Sign up now. NairaBets.com. Well, perhaps the most talked about Breeders' Cup race this weekend is the Breeders' Cup Distaff, and it's the way it's supposed to be. It's the top three-year-old against the top older fillies and mares, and this is a good one, and includes the three-year-old sensation Songbird. She's 11 for 11, and she's done it the hard way. She has pretty much danced every single dance. She's met all comers, and she's beaten them, and she's beaten them quite easily, and she uses her speed to her advantage. The problem is she's facing quality routers for the first time in her life, and she's facing horses that have consistently run as fast, if not faster, than she has on speed figures. And that's one thing. And if you like her at 5-1, to one, that's fine. The problem is she's going to be in the 6-5 to five to 8-5 to five range, and on paper she is not close to deserving of that. She is the very essence of bad value from a betting standpoint. And while she's a wonderful racehorse, this is a challenge that she has never faced before, and I believe you're supposed to bet against her, and my idea is to be alive to all of her competition in the pick four if I can get my horses home earlier because I think that's where there will be value. Now, the horses that she has to beat, the main competition, are the California Sensation Beholder as well as Stellar win. Now, Stellar win finished second this race last year in a very good performance, a three-year-old, and she has been better than ever. She's been taken somewhat out of her game when she's been forced to be close to the pace, and she's still been able to beat Beholder. Now, Beholder's going to be on the outside post in this race, and she's the one who's going to take it to Songbird early, and Stellar Wind will be able to relax a little bit more. Both of these horses are very, very dangerous, though I think that Stellar Wind is the more preferable one, and her price at around three to one, three and a half to one will be very fair. I think they are the two horses to beat, but I do not discount the horses from the East Coast. And we'll look at the horses that finished second, third, and fourth behind Cavorting, who unfortunately did not make this race up at Saratoga in the personal ensign. And that includes Carolina. I'm a chatterbox and forever unbridled. I think all three of these horses are very talented, and any of them can make their presence felt in this race, and I prefer to bet them at much bigger prices than Songbird. However, the one I think is the scariest is Forever Unbridled. Forever Unbridled had a perfect prep for this, beat an overmatched field in the Bell Dame, while these other horses, you know, like a Carolina, was just skipping races. She was running, as was I'm a chatterbox, who had a big win in the Spinster at Keeneland. But I think Forever Unbridled has had to be closer to the pace, particularly in the race that we saw the personal ensign that she likes to be. And this race, she can drop back and make one run. So for that reason, she's my preferred horse of the sort of East Coast-based horses, though she's kind of a Midwest horse. I like Stellar Wind. I like her over the six Unbridled Forever, Forever Unbridled, excuse me, and the eight Beholder, with a little bit of I'm a Chatterbox fourth. My idea is to beat Songbird. She's a very good horse, but she is the essence of bad value. Five, six, eight, seven in a terrific Breeders' Cup distaff, and you'll want to bet this race, and you'll want to bet them all, and you'll want to do it on Naira Bets, a $300 bonus available for a short time. Bonus promo code BC2016. Sign up now. You bet 300 you get 300 back. Plenty of free action on these Breeders' Cup races. This concludes the four races on Breeders' Cup Friday. Thank <laughs> you.